Hi everyone, I have just been sent this book um, by a very lovely friend of mine. Um, she um, wanted to send me a lovely treat and I'm very excited and she's very very kind and so thank you, she knows who she is. Um, and I thought I would do a little flip through um, to show you the book and um, then colour a picture from it at the end of the video I thought would be good fun. Um, so it's called Matchstick Mouse, it's by Morgan O'Brien. Now he's an animator and um, has an amazing website with some really um, fab things and his Instagram is really fun as well. He sort of shows how he digitally colours um, his own drawings which is really interesting. So this is a summer colouring book which is very appropriate, it's really sunny today. I've been out along the canal and it was lovely so let's have a little look. So this book belongs to we have at the beginning and then let's move on. So it says by my side and it's copyright this year. It's uh, it's quite a new book and uh, Matchstick Mouse, a summer colouring book. Now the paper is slightly feels, um, it's not too thick, you can see it's quite thin but um, the pictures are single sided. You can see how see through it is with the ghosting from the writing on the other side but that's okay because it's not within the um, picture. Um, of course you could do a background around here to cover that up if you want to do some black or something and we've got the um, name on the opposite side. So we here we have our character Matchstick Mouse and he is um, having a nice walk as you can see in that picture. And there's a worm, I have a feeling worm appears um, through the book. I may just get in a little closer for you because um, the pictures are small we don't need to have such a sort of big surround. And here he is with a broom but surrounded by flowers having a little snooze all up. There's the hat there, very cute. And this time fishing, this is the picture from the front, which is gorgeous, I have to say. I'd quite like to try and colour it like that, with all the oranges and things. But anyway, we'll see. See how it goes. And this one, oh, painting. How lovely. Very appropriate for a colouring book, I think. Oh, in a boat. Having a nice paddle with a worm. And we have this other little bug friend, which I think... Um, Worm was in this one, and a little worm was in this one, but bug friend in this one. I don't know what it is. We might be able to work it out as we go. Here it is flying, having a nice hike. That's a nice one. I like that picture. And right at the top of the mountain, a nice stick. Um, and uh, it's his tail sort of wrapping around. We've got a lot of sky in that. What I like about these is they're not very big. The book's quite small. Here's the size of my hand. You can see um, it's not huge, which means that it's not too daunting. So you can um, do a little bit of a background without worrying too much about it. Oh, what a cute owl. What a lovely page. Here's little bug friend. I'm thinking stag beetle. I don't know why, just because of the sort of antlers. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> It's a cute one, look. So we've got a nice wooden door to colour. We've got some leaves. These look quite oak leafy. Lots of leaves, pine trees and a bit of sky. Really nice picture to do. And in a tree. Oh, oh having a bath. <laughs> or a shower. <laughs> How sweet. What a cute picture. And so we're inside, I assume. I don't know what this is. Are we inside or are we outside? I'm guessing. What? But that's on a tree, look. So maybe the background is a tree. Hmm, interesting. And here we're nighttime, we've got a campfire. So no background to worry about on this one. You can just do this bit, so that's fun. And we've got lots of little bug friends on this one too. It's quite very cute. In a tent. Now again, no background needed. This guy's there, you can just colour your stars. That's fun. Oh, it's raining. But look, the snails have come out, as they tend to in the rain. Although we get more slugs here than snails in the rain. But even so, very cute. Ooh. Now what is that? It's some sort of fruit? It's quite knobbly, isn't it? I can't work out what that might be supposed to be. Look at the worm. It's cutting it down. And they're all going to fall. <laughs> My goodness. Ooh. Oh, it's... Is it a nut? I don't know if it is. 
because we've got nuts here look we've got blueberries there though and it's strawberries and different things lovely Oops. oh planting seeds how sweet cute picture oh watering them they're growing look got all these little seedlings coming up and we have well i don't know if those are the seeds that are now grown or or somewhere else but that's fun oh we're at the beach can you see the sea it's quite fun and we've got a shell what fun and we're still at the beach i'm thinking what's this sand and we've got seaweed i guess that's the sand dune and oh ice cream mm. could have an ice cream at the beach haven't you but this um sort of umbrella is a leaf and this one which is really good fun oh football still at the beach though we've got the sea oh the seagull what's i don't quite know are we feeding the seagull i'm not sure oh chips are there chips maybe we've got fish and chips there's fish there mm. gosh you'd get full quickly wouldn't you if you were that little <laughs> And now we I've got a scarf and a flag. Are we going to a football match? No, maybe not, maybe. So we've got a spoon. I'm on a little raft. We're going along. How very interesting. Oh, we're having a swing. Oh, very cute. Oh, oh, cold, cold. Is it cold? <laughs> so cute. Oh. Oh, he's just going for it now. Splash. Oh, it's up. Oh, looking out of the rain. I remember doing that on my school holidays, summer holidays. It always seemed to be raining. Oh, throwing a hat in the air and dancing in the puddles. It's always fun to do that in the summer when it's warm weather. And we have another picture with our friend in and having a little picnic i think well we've got bunting it's like a little party oh and flying in the air that looks quite um halloweeny i know there's a halloween book but with the broom and the potion but we've got bees perhaps that's honey maybe that's how i'd color it anyway oh relaxing in a deck chair lovely chilled picture Oh, and now we're at the end. Let's just go to the end. So we've got a spare page, which is quite useful. So we can do um, testing um, things on it. But I have decided which picture I'm going to do. One from the beginning. Um, I was, was it that? This one. I've got a lot of sky going to do I'm going to put some paper behind the page I've got quite a wadge there actually of paper just flatten the book a little bit and I thought we could do a nice um sort of sunset tea type sky on the picture and have a go with that so I'm decided that um it's probably best to use um very soft sort of pencils so I'm just I've got oh sorry that was a nasty noise. I've grabbed my Arteza experts to do that. The only thing is we don't have a great range of colour. I think we'll be okay for the sky. Um, I'm going to start with the orange and I'm going to do a sort of sunset type thing. So I'm going to start with the orange at the bottom. So I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to put down... I'm going to start to fade it now a bit. You can see the paper's quite toothy, but we're going to layer up so it'll be okay. I don't know if I think this is Amazon paper, but I'm not entirely sure. I didn't say it was. There we go, that's our first colour. So that is the orange. Now you don't have to use these specific colours, this is pumpkin orange. We're basically going to just go from orange to yellow through um, um, sort of 
So I'm just trying to work out what's going on here because we don't actually have a line. Can you see that there? So uh, I need to make sure that I get my orange in the right place as we go across there. I'll just concentrate on doing this side first. Now I'm thinking that maybe a blender or blending solution might help with this paper. I have got, I wonder if the Derwent blending pens would be nice to use. But I can't, I haven't got them handy. So uh, now I'm thinking about there. I'm just going to draw in an imaginary line and go for it like that. Now the more you fade your colour up, the easier the transition is between your colour and the next one and the closer the colours are together that you pick. So don't go straight from a dark orange to a light yellow, it's very difficult to blend them. But if you go from a dark orange to a mid orange to a light orange to a dark yellow to a mid yellow to a light yellow, it makes it a lot easier because you've got lots of steps and stages it's just much, much better. So I'm just fading that up. Trying to sort of keep it reasonably even across, but um, not getting too paranoid about it. Might want a little bit in there, like that. And then our next colour is the Tuscan Sun. It's a sort of orangey yellow. I'm sort of starting where um, the colour sort of fades a bit, but you can go over the whole thing with it if you want to. I've got a feeling that I'm going to get a phone call at some point, but uh, I don't think the camera can be heard from here, so I should be okay. The camera. The telephone can be heard in this room, so it should be okay. Just fading up now, look. So I was really excited to receive this book. I was sort of overexcited, like an excited child. I knew it was coming because my friend told me, but uh, I didn't know what was coming, and uh, it was a lovely surprise to open it. And. Uh, these are such cute books. I have seen a few um, flip throughs and videos and things being done from them. So uh, it's really lovely to have one. I actually do have the autumn one on my wish list, but not this one. But it this is adorable. And uh, it's rather nice to have one like this where you've got smaller pictures that aren't going to take too long to complete. I think sometimes it's just nice to have something fairly quick. Even with this background, it's not going to take too long. So uh, it's, uh, it's rather nice. I'm just trying to fade that up a bit. I know I've got a bit on the stick. We can worry about that later. I'm just going to try and make sure I go in, up to the edges of the things. There we go. Now, my next colour, I think, is going to be the sunflower yellow because our other oranges are um, um, our other oranges are sort of peachy coloured, which isn't going to work. So uh, we can. Now I think I'm probably going to leave these clouds white. Um, I may or may not though, but uh, I think they probably work, left white. That's good. Yeah, my husband was here earlier, he had the day off because um, my son's got the dentist this afternoon and he takes him. And um, he has to, it's quite, it's a little tricky because the dentist, there's no dentist for the his orthodontist's treatment in our town. We live in quite a small town. There's no orthodontist in our town at all. It, oddly, there's one in a smaller town near us, but because he's got quite severe problems with his teeth, which are being fixed and it's all fine, it's nothing they can't fix, he has to go to the hospital and see a consultant at times. So, um, 
so he has as I say has to go to the hospital so he doesn't go to the hospital in our town he goes to a nearby town and so has to get there and because he it's complicated further by the fact that his college and his, his school when he was at school before he started college were in the opposite direction to the hospital to the town where the hospital is but being college it's a little better because he gets a half day today so he came home at lunchtime and then um, his appointments at 3.20 so he can get a lift up with my husband so that's really good news so uh, he can go a bit more easily when it was school it was really tricky we tried to always make it in the holidays because um, it was he just couldn't come home early because um, there were no buses and um, I don't drive so it was really difficult but uh, so uh, it's all sort of working out very nicely sorry I should use my brush there we go and I've gone out the line so I'm going to just erase that a bit it doesn't matter if you go out of the circle you could always colour that in black okay that's our next one my next pencil is the lemon yellow gosh it's going quite pale but that's okay I'm going to give it a sharpen now if you can't get a nice transition between your colours you can add some stripes of darker colour into your lighter areas and then you can sort of hide the fact that it make it look like it was on purpose it's quite hard to explain I'm going over everything in this colour just to try and blend it all up a bit brighten it up as well and because this paper's got a bit of tooth it can take quite a lot of layers so uh, we can keep layering but anyway so they're off to the um, off to the dentist so I think when they arrive he might ring me to say they've got there on time because he would worry about that but I don't I think oh if they're late they're late they'll get seen it's fine and I'm sure they'll be on time because they left really early so it's not I'm not really thinking you know it's not something that's worrying me whereas he would be worried so he would he phones me because he thinks I worry like he does but I do I am a worrier but not about that sort of thing so uh, I'm trying not to be such a worrier I know it's not healthy now I have a decision to make with this book well I've already made the decision to be honest is that could colour matchstick mouse the same on every single page in the same colours but I've decided I'm not going to do that I'm going to just decide on each page how to colour him and I won't always necessarily be using the same set of pencils so I won't have exactly the same colours so I think um, I'll change it as I go and just make the decision depending on what works for the picture so it's likely that I'll do him brown each time because that's um, I think mice are generally brown the ones I've seen are I think they're probably grey ones but I don't know but uh, I think it will suit him and the same with this hat I might change the colour to that bit looks a bit lacking there we go just fade it up it's quite fun you can do a bit of scribbling there we go whoops nearly dropped my pencil then Right, I have a jasmine yellow next to use. I think I'm going to start about here. I'm not going to start right at the bottom. Because this isn't such a vibrant yellow. So I don't think it necessarily needs so much. I like, the, I like putting a vibrant yellow on top of orange. But I don't think we necessarily need this one. So my other son is still at college. He's got a full day on a Monday. He has, um, they both have maths first thing Monday morning. Can you imagine? A-level maths, calculus and stuff, first thing. This is quite a brownie yellow, isn't it? 
I think it will be okay though. I guess it's sort of creamy really. I'm going to go all the way to the top but I will have a last colour. Um, so yeah, he has maths in the morning. And then he has a long lunch break. So, uh, um, and then he has a lesson last thing in the afternoon in computing. I think... Um, my other son came in and said their friends had all gone off into town. I think because some of them had a long lunch break too. But uh, he didn't. They don't go into town. They're not really interested. So I'm um, going to do sapphire yellow last. And I'm actually going to start at the top. And um, just take it down as far as I think it needs it. Um, he might go to the library and study. He has got quite a lot of work, but he's off tomorrow all day at home, so he'll be able to catch up with a lot of work then, hopefully. I know he had a couple of maths papers to do and some chemistry. They had quite a lot to do tomorrow. I'm having a day off tomorrow, so that's nice. So I should be colouring all day and not recording videos very much. Um, Record, yeah, probably not recording videos, probably just now. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm happy with how he looks now. Hat, I'm gonna do the hat next. It sounds a bit weird, but it's just what I've decided to do next. And I've decided that I want it to be green. Um, and I quite like this emerald green, so I'm gonna start by using that. I'm going to do it darker in places where I think it would be more shaded, like here. I think I'm going to particularly do quite dark under there where the edge of the brim is. And then sort of a bit lighter up here. And fade it up. We're going to get in another colour in a minute. Like that. Now under here, look, we can see their shadow because there's lines drawn. So that tells us that it's got to be quite dark. So I'm going to actually put quite a lot of pressure down on the pencil here. I've got a big padding of paper underneath here so I know that I can get away with it without causing any dents to the page below. Okay, and then on this bit I want to make it a little bit darker here where there'll be some shadow from the brim. Now think about also the light, although the sun's down here. The um, light is likely to be lighter on the top of the hat. So I'm going to sort of fade it upwards a bit. Like that. Let's get a bit more layer down. And then I'm going to use a lighter green to... Uh, oops. I'm going to use the shamrock green to add some more colour. It's a bit lighter. Like that. And the same here. Still got a few bits not done but that's okay I want to make it a little darker in here I'm just yeah I'm just going to grab this jade green which is really quite dark and just add in a little darker bit here I want that to sort of fade outwards a bit so that it's you can see that it's a bit darker near his head like that yeah that's better that pleases me and lastly, I'm going to use this turquoise to just finish off the hat, the very lightest areas. This is really sharp, so it's going down better. I think the key with the toothy paper is to have a nice sharp pencil. And then it pushes it right down into the um, tooth of the paper. It gives you a lighter... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now ears. I am thinking I'd quite like a sort of pinkish ear um, inside. 
I know mice poppy don't all have that sort of colour, but that's what, oops, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just sharpening up my pink macaron. Okay, and I'm going to use that in the ear. I don't want it too dark. So I'm just going to put a really light layer in and then just sort of darken it where there might be a shadow and then maybe along the bottom a bit like that. Now that is the top of his other ear, but that would be the probably not the inside. Or would it be the inside? Now have a think. I would do his little hands. Oh, my lead's a bit wobbly. I thought I heard it make a noise and I sharpened it, but never mind. And feet. Now you could do these brown if you'd rather. Whoop. <laughs> oh, it's given up. Hang on. I'm going to do something that I wouldn't advise doing. There we go. Because I don't want to um, sharpen it. It might break again. Nose though. Do you want the nose pink? No, black. Let's do the fur. Now, where are my browns? Over here. Um, hmm. I quite like this slightly reddy brown, the cinnamon. I'm going to start with the cinnamon and just see how it looks. I think we will add other browns, but... Now, with a bit of tooth showing through, actually it makes it look quite fluffy and furry. So I think it's quite good. You may not agree, but I think it look, gives it some texture. Compared with the sky, which is quite smooth. I just realised that sky, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. That's going to be a challenge, but still, it will show you something. Now I'm thinking this belly area is probably a slightly lighter colour. It's quite often the case, isn't it? So we'll see how that goes in a minute. We've also got this bit. I think that's the back of the bag. I'm not going to worry about making that sky. Right, let's deal with this. Now I'm guessing that is probably our Tuscan Sun colour in there. Yeah. And the sunflower yellow. There, that'll do nicely. Okay. Now I want a darker brown. I'm going to use this one. This is the Cocoa Brown. And I'm going to go all over the fur with this, but just gently. I want to leave some of the um, lighter reddish colour showing through. but So that it just looks like the fur isn't all one colour, which I think is quite fun. Um, I am also starting to think about the colour of the bag and a few other details, which is fun. I think I should have done the tail pink, so uh, I may have to sharpen my macaron pencil, but that's okay. There he is. I'm also going, while I'm sharpening, I'm going to think about his belly. Now, there is a colour that I often want in pencil sets and never appears which is like a sort of beige colour and we don't get get it so I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I've, this is the um, pink macaron. I thought it wouldn't sharpen but it has. Now I've put down a gentle layer and then I'm going to put a darker layer on each end of the tail like that and then we've got a bit of it here as well. Now I'm actually tempted to make worm this colour, but I think it might be a bit confusing, so we'll find a different colour for worm. Okay, those are our browns, and I'm going to actually use our very darkest brown, I'm sorry reaching right across the picture, which is the espresso brown, to do areas where I think we would want some shadow. So under here, I'm going to try and keep a loose movement so that... Um, um, 
it still looks like fur and trying to keep it directional as well so I'm just thinking you know anywhere where there's some sort of shade or something like that that might cause the fur to just be a little bit darker yeah cool okay nose I'm thinking I'm going to use this color for the nose as well and it will sort of tie in I'm going to fade it a little bit towards the top of the nose like that so it looks a little bit shiny like that okay oops so I'm reaching across again now we have this um tummy hmm I think I'm going to try this and see if it works. Just using my other arm to reach it so I'm not going across the camera this time. Burnt ochre. And I'm going to do it very lightly. Because I don't want it to be really dark. It looks a bit too red. But we might be able to fix that. Okay, and I'm going to go over it with, what should we use? Yes, I think we will use a slightly brownish yellow. So we've got this yellow ochre, because it's a slightly browner tone, a bit like a Naples yellow. And I'm just going to go over that. It isn't the colour that I really want, but I think that will make it look warm and nice. And it will sort of tone in with the sunset as well. Could be a sunrise of course but I'm thinking it's a sunset because he's climbed to the top of the mountain I think it's the end of the day he's been walking all day there that looks nice and warm doesn't it now the um, stick he's holding I'm thinking could be quite dark wood so I'm thinking cocoa brown I'm gonna do a light layer though because I want some um, some shadow and shade in this. I'm just going to give it a sharpen. Okay. And what I want to do is make it a little bit darker around the edge of the top of the stick. Although the stick would probably be catching a light nearer the top, so we'll fade it up to there like that. And then a little bit down each side. I don't know if this is a children's colouring book or an adult's colouring book. Some of the spaces are quite nice and big, but it's not too massive and scary either. It's a really nice sort of size. I don't like the word nice, but I think you know what I mean. Now, bag and worm. Let's do you. What I really want for worm is a dusky pink, but I don't have... I've got a peony pink. I'm going to try it. Let's show you peony pink just for anyone with the uh, sound off oh gosh that's bright isn't it I'm going to tone it down a little bit Ooh. Um, yeah I'm going to use a really light layer of garnet red just to tone him down like that now I know he seems to be brighter but I'm going to use a white whoops my um, pencil's run away I'm going to use the white I'm going to need to sharpen it and it will um, burnish, but it will also um, hopefully fade him a little bit. Because he's a bit bright. There we go. The white is very good in this set. It's rare for me to say that. There we go. That's better. I'm happy with him now. Sorry, I didn't tell you the colour of the white. I don't know if it's just called white. It's called white quartz, but it's just white. Now his bag. I thought it might be nice if his bag matched his hat, but then I wasn't sure whether it might be better to introduce a new colour just because we're, you know, we haven't got loads of colours. And I was thinking maybe purple goes would go well nicely with the orange and the hat. So that's what I'm going to do. 
except you can't get hold of it. I'm going to use the purple iris for the first layer and just layer on some purple. It was quite pinky this. And I'm just going to put it all over the whole bag. It's quite good weather now. The um, sun has moved around from in here. It shines on the desk at lunchtime, but the sun's gone in now anyway. So that's useful. So that's just an initial layer, and I'm going to use whoops, a darker purple. Hmm, no, that's not what I want. Hang on. Bear with me. Sorry, that's what I want. The amethyst purple. And I'm going to use that for all the areas I want darker. So this bit at the back, where there's lots of shade there, it's going to be a really dark. And then a bit here, I'm going to sort of put a little bit on everywhere, but I'm going to change how much I put on. So I think there'd be more at the bottom of the bag and then draw a worm. I wonder if he's got a name, wouldn't it be good? It did. Now if you like um, this style of um, picture, the um, author has got a lot of books actually. There are three in the Matchstick Mouse series. There is a Baby Yoda series. There's a Village series. And there's a Dinosaur series um they haven't all got those names but it's worth having a little look um i will have a link in the description to this book but once you're in amazon um it's easy enough to find um other works by the author okay we're going to go back over now with the um purple iris and just sort of burnish that all up a little bit so yeah it's well worth having a little look because of course um postage um, it can be worth um, getting a few things at once or popping a few things on your wish list you know someone accused me of being an influencer the other day making them spend their money it was quite funny they were doing it in a really jokey way it was quite funny saying that um, they used to watch Johanna Basford and she used to make them spend their money and now I do <laughs> I'm sorry um, I just want you to have fun <laughs> But uh, it's, uh, these are nice books and uh, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I'm very lucky that I get sent things. I don't spend tons, but uh, you know, I really appreciate it. And thanks to my friend um, who sent me this. She sent me a lot of things actually. Now I'm thinking this I want in grey. Now there are several greys. I'm just going to bring the tray a bit nearer to me because it's so far away. Whoops. Um, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. So we have a smoke grey, a cloudy grey, an elephant grey, a pewter grey, a charcoal grey and a black. And I'm going to start actually with a light grey. So this is the smoke grey. I would like a brownish grey really so that's what I would expect from a smoke grey which is what I'm getting so that's good news so that's what I'm going to do first now we do have a few rocks and bits and pieces but I don't know whether these shapes indicate grass but I want it all to be rock that's just how I have imagined um, that he's walked up this rocky mountain so that's just what I'm thinking so uh, we have got a little friend, um, Stag Beetle, or whatever he might be to do as well. He's stripy in this picture, so I'm not sure what colour we can do him. So that's a layer, um, obviously, of that. And now I want to go darker. And I'm thinking the elephant grey might be better than the pewter. I think pewter is likely to be a very cold grey. So this is, sorry, this is the elephant grey. And I'm just going to mark out some areas that I think would be darker, like under here. Under Matchstick Mouse's feet and body, there will be some shadow, yeah? And under the tail and the stick and the foot, like that. Also under these 
sort of rocky outcrops as well. Now what I'm also thinking is it'd be a bit lighter at the top than the bottom so I'm just going to put a little layer sort of fading up woods a bit just to make that look a little bit darker like that and I don't think it matters if this is a bit roughly textured because I think it would be and I'm going to grab the charcoal grey. Now I'm aware this is going to be very dark. So you be aware too if you're using this because it's going to be um, very different. I'm going to use a bit on this rock and this rock to give it some depth. And a bit on this one. Just to make them look a bit rounder. And then just mark out some of these areas where we've got lines drawn as if there's going to be some sort of shadowy areas and I'm in the mood for doing things a bit rough and ready I've just been doing a Kirby Roseanne page and it always makes me I always colour quite roughly on them because that's his sort of drawing style so that's how I end up colouring it there we go okay so we need to do a little bug whoops and uh, I'm thinking, I'm just trying to think, I would quite like to do red. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think red, but not a sort of straight red. Um, maybe, yes, let's take the garnet red that we use for worm. And it, oops, and uh, use that. Um, I'm going to sharpen because he's very small. I'm not going to use loads, so don't worry. If you don't like this idea, do your own colours. You don't have to copy and we're just going to do a little bit and fade it up a little bit and fade it up like this there we go there I'm not going to do any more there we are so there is our completed picture which was lovely fun to colour and you can see how quick I'm just going to brush that it's a bit messy there we go these pencils um, are a bit crummy not in the sense that they're rubbish, they're good, <laughs> but they leave crumbs. So there we go, there he is. So that, I hope that was fun for you. Um, I just thought because I knew the pictures would be quite quick to complete, it would just be fun to colour one on the end of my flip through. And I really wanted to colour one. <laughs> So I thought I would just combine it all and do it all in one video. So I hope that was okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and um, like and comment and all those lovely things. It makes such a big difference to me and to how many people see the video. So thank you to all of you that do that already. I really appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.